priest, a nun, a rabbi, and a blonde walk into a bar, and the bartender says, what is this, some sort of a joke? It's terrible. So, um, not a few people asked me about Bandoff the Grey, this beautiful wizardly beast sitting behind me, whose sticker collection is getting pretty eclectic, I might add. Um... Yeah, so today I think we're just going to do a tour, kind of show you around, show you where I live, uh, where I sleep, where Onyx sleeps, uh, which isn't always in the tent, but sometimes it is. Um, yeah, so let's do it. The van, it's going to be a pretty short video, so here we go. So Vandolph the Gray is a 2000 Chevy Express 1500, 350 motor, I guess. Um, We'll do a little outside. This is uh, the beautiful um, wind deflector that is uh, in pieces. Uh, this piece is also kind of broken from the time that I stood on it to install solar panels, which are on the roof. We'll get to that. Um, I would say these are my uh, my dubs. Or they're not, they're, they tens, they tens, but I keep them clean though. Um, Typical Chevy conversion van, as you can see, it's a, a Mark III conversion van. All the way around, I'm gonna try to get up top here so you can see the solar panels, which was no easy feat. Fast forward to the montage. Montage, montage, montage. Talking about a montage. Yeah, so as you can see, those are the panels up top. It's a, uh, it's a Renogy is the brand. Super awesome. Um, a 200 watt system. I've got the Wonder conversion thing, um, and just a single battery, just a single 120 amp. Uh, battery. So, shall we go inside? Actually, let's start in the back. Move this. Currently at a campground in Grand Canyon, Arizona. Can I just repeat that? I'm in the Grand freaking Canyon. This campsite is, is incredible. Pine trees everywhere. So back here, I have, oh God. All these panels, they're supposed to do that. These, uh, these panels are um, like really thick insulated panels and I custom like, cut them specifically to each one of the, um, the windows. So uh, just for privacy and uh, just use basic Velcro. So they just kind of pop on like that. And there you go, privacy, well, once they're all in. Got, uh, I've got my bike, which can't live without my bike. And so beyond that is, oh. The secret back here. It's gonna raise these sheets. I've got a uh, storage, so I built this bed the whole frame is basically four by fours. There's four four by fours, and then it's a thick piece of MDF for the bed frame is what that is. Um, these little storage guys I got from, I think probably Target. Um, and I had to put these little lockers, as you can see, I basically just kind of screwed it into the top so that way they don't go anywhere. Pretty smart, huh? So storage and stuff in here, got plenty of, Plenty of storage. I actually feel like I have too much storage. I've got my uh, my fridge. Thanks to my buddy Steve. Thank you, Steve. Um, behind there, I don't know if you can see that. Uh, just like some water in case of a breakdown. And a little bit more storage. And that's also where the battery, fuse panel, and things like that. And extra toilet paper. Um, over here, I've got uh, kind of where I guess I keep Onyx dog food and some other stuff. There's a beach chair back there. 
I've got my iron gym, so I do my push-ups. I do like six, 700 a day. Yeah. So that's, uh, that's the back. Let's move mosey on, shall we? So moving in, uh, this used to be an actual conversion van with all the seats and things like that in there. So it's kind of a big project to remove all that kind of stuff. Uh, the floor, once the floor is gutted, I, um, I use lizard skin insulation, which is like a thick paint insulation. So that was the first layer and then did a layer of regular poly insulation, uh, then a layer of, um, I think it was a quarter inch plywood. And then, uh, this is just, uh, the sexy wood paneling is not really wood at all. It's, uh, it's vinyl. I just wanted something kind of easy to maintain something really simple to clean because well, I'm going to be doing a lot of outdoorsy things or I am doing a lot of outdoorsy things. So once inside we see the, uh, the captain's quarters here. That's where I, um, what do you drive? That's where I drive to places and adventures and things like that. Up here, I have some storage. This was like back in the day, uh, a TV here and like VCR and things like that. But as you can see, it's now storage. That's where I keep delightful blankets and fans. Um, I've got some amazing seasonings all up in here. You want some onion powder? I got some onion powder. Powder. You want some black pepper? I got some black pepper. Uh, the curtain rod right here, I, I put in here for, just again for more uh, for, for privacy, like whenever I stop or sleep or whatever. So it just kind of slides over. Blocks anybody seeing in. Uh, this same thing, I've got my uh, various sundries in here. So same thing. So those just kind of slide up. And there you see some delightful 100% uh, whole grain bread. Some other cool stuff in there. Uh, this whole thing is bolted, like bolted to the floor as well as bolted to the back. So like it's not moving anywhere. And then from there, I've got uh, my little workstation. It's where I make all the magic happen, like probably this video. Um, all my books and some electronics and stuff like that. If you're thinking about doing an adventure like this, might I suggest Vagabonding by Ralph Potts. One of my favorites. Uh, this is the ACDC converter. So this is where everything gets plugged in. It basically just goes, I, um, I ran wire, all the wiring from the outside solar panels inside. Those all connect to uh, the Wonder, it's called, which is down here. You can see like um, the light on the left, if it's blinking, that means it's charging, which I'm under a lot of trees, so it's not charging very well, but um, the middle one's the battery, and then the right one is like what kind of battery. So mine's a sealed battery, I guess is what you call it. Um, this is where all the magic happens. There's not a lot of magic happening, but uh, it's super, super soft. I mean, I, uh, they don't make mattresses in van sizes. So I had to, I had to make my own. It's basically like two layers of two inch foam. And then it's two layers of two inch memory foam. So whatever that math is, that's what my mattress is. And I just get like a, got like a queen cheat set and stuff like that for it. So up here, we got a little more storage. That's where my, my lighting is. That's usually where I keep like all that, some video equipment and things like that in there. Um, and that's pretty much about it. I kept like most of the interior pretty much how it was, as you can kind of see, just because, um, I don't know, it's got that cool 90s vibe, wood paneling everywhere. Um, what else? Oh, I've got a, how do I keep it clean? You ask? Well, 
with the world's most efficient broom. That's right. I really, really use this. I actually used it like five minutes ago. You know, I wanted to clean up for you guys. And I guess that's it. So that's the van. That's where I live, that's where I stay. It's not where I live, I mean, I live outside, but it's where I sleep. And uh, that's pretty much about it. I'll try to think of one more bad joke for you before I leave.